Hello online family, this is Elder Manuel Thomas here. This is something that I believe is very close to my heart. The priesthood of the believer. Matter of fact, let's go to Revelation chapter 1. And I'm going to read verse 5 and 6. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us, and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and has made us kings and priests unto God and his Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and forever. Amen. The priesthood of the believer. Do you understand that you are a priest as a believer in Christ Jesus? See, a prophet represents God before man. A priest represents man before God. You see that all in the Old Testament. When the children of Israel wanted to approach God, they had to go to the priest. And that is a pattern that we see throughout the Old Testament. and the New Testament, through Christ's blood, through salvation, we have been made priests. There are people in our families, they can't pray for themselves because they don't have a relationship with God. There are friends, people in your job, they can't pray for themselves. They have no priesthood before God because they are not a believer. And that's why intercession is so important. See, as a priest in Christ Jesus, having access to God through the blood of Jesus Christ, we are able as priests to come before God and say, God, have mercy on my brother. God, have mercy on my sister. Have mercy on my friend. Father God, heal and restore them in every area of their lives. And because as priests, when we pray, God responds to priests. So I want you to understand that if you are a believer, you are the priest of your home. You are the priest at your job. As believers, we have this amazing authority that has been given to us in Christ Jesus. So once again, remember this. A prophet represents God before man. A priest represents man before God. And as a priest, there's some individuals you need to intercede for. You need to pray for family members and friends. And even now, I believe in God that God would teach you your responsibility as a priest in the body of Christ. God bless you. I look forward to seeing you next week. And remember, you are a priest in every area of your life. God bless you and have a nice day. Peace.